Daniel Kettlehut sees art in places most of us don't. After I've scribbled a bit and there's a line, pages covered with, with lines, I'll look at it and start to define some of the lines and some of the images and a form will emerge. And as it emerges, it becomes more and more distinct and I continue to hone it and define it. And these, these scribbles can turn out to be anything, but for me, they always turn into creatures, otherworldly, bizarre creatures. Born in Freeport, Illinois, Daniel came to San Diego and studied art at SDSU. He works from his studio garage in Mira Mesa while holding other jobs to pay the bills. While his oil painting on canvas and panel have been his passion, he hasn't yet achieved his dream to make his art his career. That's why he recently joined the San Diego Fine Arts Society's mentor program. The mentor is Alexander Salazar, who is hottest gallery owner in, in San Diego right now, so it's wonderful working with him. He's very dynamic, he knows all about the art world, and it's, it's great having him as a mentor. Through the program, Daniel is learning how to broaden his artwork, market it, and increase productivity. Last year I produced about a dozen paintings um, in the year. Well, I've done in the first month of the mentor program, I'm approaching 10 paintings, um, so that's a big increase. Now, I'd love to be able to um, sell my work and make at least part of my living from being an artist. Using a technique practiced in the Renaissance period, Daniel layers paint onto his canvas, creating depth and optical illusions that bring his creatures to life. The thing about glazing is your colors are mixed optically in the eye of the viewer. Now, I'm going to add some deep blue, it's ultramarine blue, and of course, red and blue make purple or violet, so I'm going to put some color down. I'm using this blue to, to, to fill in the areas I want to be darker, so the shadowed areas. So I'm filling this in. I'm not going to paint the entire subject because I want this to remain light. I used blue paint yet the paint doesn't look blue because it's going over red. So it's going to have sort of a violet cast to it. So I'm going to just sort of dab this away right at the edge where it's meeting the lighter color. I, I, as, I, as I smooth out these brush strokes, you can see it's, it's shaded much more dramatically than it was before I put the glaze on there. Daniel's work is now showing at Alchemy Restaurant in San Diego. You can buy his artwork and meet the artist there. Being an artist, I can't imagine what else um, would feed my spirit the way this does. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua for Art Pulse TV.